Hi, everybody. I hope uh, you are all well and everybody is healthy. Um, I'm posting another video here, a quick video, just to uh, review, further review, uh, rather, uh, sorting your data and applying subtotals uh, to various categories. Uh, this example spreadsheet here, I've also posted in uh, contents under eLearn, uh, under the uh, uh, Excel files for in-class demos. So you can find this. You'll find this here if you want to practice with it. And the file is called uh, uh, Sorting in Subtotals. So in this particular example, we have some data for a company, Canadian Discount Shoes, and it's their sales for February 2020. We have a list of all their products, their various types of um, footwear that they sell, the color, men's and women's, the wholesale price. This company also sells to um, businesses uh, that require uh, various types of footwear, whether it's um, you know, Federal Express or factory workers, what have you. Um, so for February, we've got the price per unit wholesale, the total uh, sales in wholesale, as well as the unit price, uh, the retail price on the goods, how many they sold at retail, and the total retail sales for the month. And then of course, the total sales for the month, which would be just a combination of the total wholesale and the total retail. Okay, so what we want to determine here is we want to break this down. We want to organize it and sort it so that we can see each of our categories. And we also want to find, uh, we want to sort it also uh, by men and women's. And then we're going to get subtotals of all our sales on here as well. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. First thing we're going to want to do is, is highlight our data. Uh, so if you uh, if you're using this sheet and you go into A3, you can just uh, left click on that. And as we um, did this in class, hold down your control and your shift key, hit your right arrow key once and your down arrow key once. We've got all our data selected. Now you're probably on the home tab. So you'll want to go across here, select the data tab, and then move over to sort this, this function right here and select that. Now, the first thing, uh, the first category that we want to sort by is by product right here. So from the drop down menu, select product. And then we want to add a second level to this because after the product is organized and sorted, we want to sort it by uh, men and women's. So we'll add a level. And from the drop down menu, we will select men and women's and select OK. Okay, so now we can see it has alphabetically organized our spreadsheet. So comfy shoes, then glide running shoes, lazy flip flops. So Excel first sorts by the, this product description. And then you can see here our secondary sorting uh, requirement that we put in place was by men or women. So we've got men's and then we've got women's. So we've got that all set. And now what we want to do is we want to use this subtotal feature here to calculate our total sales by these categories. So again, we're gonna highlight our data and we will select the subtotal tab. And now be careful here, we don't wanna sort it by product ID, that, that's in column A. We actually wanna uh, sort it by product. So we're gonna select product and we're gonna go through our list here. Yes, we want the total sales. We're also gonna to wanna to have the total retail sales, <clears throat> excuse me, and the total that we did in uh, wholesale. And we're gonna wanna select this summary below the data. And what this does is when we select that and we look at our um, spreadsheet, it will put those subtotals below each of the categories rather than on top of it. It just makes it visually much more easier to uh, look at. Okay, so we'll select okay and take a look at what we did here. So now you can see we still have everything uh, sorted here by product category. So here's our comfy walking shoes and Excel has created a subtotal and it's highlighted it here. And as we move across row 10, we can see we have our total uh, sales that we did in wholesale of $712 and retail, we did $2,275 and our total sales is just a combination of them both. Okay, at $29.87.50. And it has done that for each category. So you can see just with a few clicks how you can change that data and convert it to information. Let's do a auto fill here. And it even gives us a grand total at the bottom. So we'll see our grand total of wholesale, grand total of retail sales, 
and then of course our total sales for footwear in February. All right, let's go back up to the worksheet and we wanna drill down on this a little bit further because um, if, you, if you recall, when we sorted our data, we selected to sort it by product first, and then we also sorted by men and women. So we're going to want to get a total. We want to know our total sales now in each uh, product category broken down by men and women so we know what's going on there. So we're going to highlight our data set. And we'll go back up here to the subtotal. And we're gonna change it now from product to men or women's. And very important, you must unselect this first box here where it says replace current subtotals because we really wanna keep those uh, current subtotals in there. We just wanna add uh, the subtotals for the men and the women. So just click that to uncheck it, all right? And then you should be okay. Make sure we've got our uh, total wholesale total retail and our total sales. It looks good, let's see what happens. Click OK, and go up to the top of our sheet. All right, so now you can see we've got an extra category, an extra level of uh, detailed information here. So we still have our products organized and sorted by product type. And now what we have is we can see here's the men's totals. So in wholesale, men, we sold a total of 237 uh, 50. We sold 1,040 in retail, and our total men's uh, footwear and comfy walking shoes in February was $1,277.50. And if you look up here to the formula bar, you can see, you know, when we created the subtotals. This is the formula that um, Excel put in place. The nine represents uh, the sum factor, and then we've got the range from L4 and L5. So again, L is uh, the uh, alphabet's uh, Letters uh, designate, point out our columns, and then the numbers, of course, refer to our rows. Uh, so here's L4 and L5 that it's totaled up. Uh, for the same product, we can see that we've got now our women's total. So we can see we did $475 in sales wholesale. We did $1,235 in retail, and a total of $1,710 um, for all the women's uh, footwear and the comfy walking shoes. So the uh, sales for the women's footwear in this category certainly outperformed the, the uh, sales for men. And we can take a look down a little bit further. The gliding running shoes, we sold men's only. Hmm, I wonder if we even make those in women or women just don't like them. That would be good information because, you know, if we were carrying something called gliding running shoes uh, in a women's uh, assortment and women weren't buying them, that should be a red flag. We've got something going here the ladies are not liking that style of shoe we need to do something about it uh, lazy flip-flops um, again all men and then oh we've got the women category here as well so that was uh, total women were 90 men were 75 pretty close there and we get all the way down to our bottom and the seriously tall boots it's been all women sales and that so essentially this is how quickly again that you can take your data set and with just a few simple clicks, create some really valuable information um, to review your, um, your results. Now, I just want to take a second. Now, if we, let's look over to the left-hand side of the screen here. We've got, we've got these numbers here. And I want to show you what they represent. This helps us really drill down on this data set here to take a look at what we're doing. So if I select number one, you can see it's just filtered, and it just shows us the grand total. That's it. Total wholesale, total retail, and our total sales for the month, 17,000. So if your boss was asking you for that and you had this worksheet prepared, just a simple click, you'd have that information. Let's select item two. And now we can see, you know, we've broken it out a little bit further. We've drilled down now and we can see our total sales by product uh, for February in both wholesale, retail, and of course our total sales. And then tab three, okay. This will give us the summary, not only of the actual product category, but also in the men's and women's total there um, for each one of these. And then if we select number four, we're right back to where we started from. All right, now there's one other um, feature in this um, that can help you sort of organize your data very quickly. Um, and we're gonna do that now. So we're gonna select all our data set and we're gonna put an outline on this to affect our columns. 
Once you've got your data set selected, go up to Group, hit the drop down menu, and select Auto Outline. And it will pop up and ask you to modify existing outline. Yes, please. Select OK. And now you can see we've got these uh, horizontal lines above our, our data set now. So I'm going to walk you through and show you what each one of these things do. And you can see there's a minus, again, minus sign in these various categories here. What this will do when we click on that is it will actually collapse these columns um, to sort of limit the amount of data that we're looking at um, so we can sort of visually see uh, things that are important to us that we want to look at at that specific point in time. So I'll, first, let's start with H. Let's collapse that. And now you can see it collapsed and hit all those uh, other columns. So we're just looking at the total uh, sales uh, and wholesale. And we've got the unit retail price, how much we've sold, total retail and total sales. We can collapse that even further by selecting the next one. And now we're just looking at total wholesale, total retail, and total sales. So you can see how easily that, you know, it is to look at that and view that. Um, as opposed to looking at a large spreadsheet. This really comes in handy. It's a great feature if you're you know, using a data set you know, with 100 columns or more. This really helps uh, visually, especially if you're giving a presentation. And then lastly, if we hit the last one, now it's just going to give us our total sales. So by each category, we've got our total sales. And again, that includes men's, women's, um, wholesale and, and uh, retail as well. So everything's uh, captured there. And then simply we can just expand on it when we want to go back. And there we go, we're right back to where we started from. So I encourage you to um, um, open the uh, practice spreadsheet that I posted in eLearn. Get comfortable doing with this um, and, and experimenting with it and knowing where you know the functions are and how to use those. So. I hope every again, I hope everybody is well and until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye now.